Straight from the pages of Von Gaal himself, ish, we bring you the 3331 of Diamond Van Gaal's Dream. That is the tactic name. Basically, it says the 3331 formation used by Van Gaal, Cruyff, and Rhinus Michels using total football. This is a revamp of a 3331 Diamond Rhinus principles that the creator who created this one created earlier. Uh, and we can actually take a look at that one at some point later. But there are a couple of changes to that one uh, wide center backs to ball playing defenders and stay wider, deep line playmakers to ball winning midfielders, inverted wingers to inside forwards, AMs to shadow strikers, short passing, things like that. So we're going to go into this tactic right now with our three teams of Liverpool, Aston Villa, and our championship side of Ipswich Town. We may check out the Rhinus principles in at some other point, but for right now, let's jump into the Premier League and see how our teams did. Well, it doesn't look like this save did very well indeed. Fifth place for Liverpool, 73 points, more than 10 points off their normal average, 80 goals, eh. Aston Villa in 10th with 61 goals, 49 points. Yeah, it definitely did not work for them. Liverpool's domestic cups after beating Aston Villa 3-1 in both legs. Uh, the Carabao Cup final, unfortunately, losing out to Tottenham one all in penalties. And they did lose out in the FA Cup fourth round to Arsenal. However, they did get to the Europa League final, beating Freiburg 3-1 in extra time. So overall... Yeah, fifth place, not a great place. Now, that could just be something happened in the save, injuries, whatever, that just derailed their season. But it definitely in this save, it didn't work. Winners of the Europa League is fantastic, though. Carabao Cup runners-up, not bad. Uh, FA Cup, yeah, whatever. Squad-wise, you could see some green at least, but 25 goals for Salah is not bad. 18 for Nunez, assists 16 for Salah, and 14 for Sobazlai. Average rating Salah with a 7.52. As we switch over to Aston Villa, obviously we saw that already 1-3 loss in, to Liverpool in the home and the away leg in the Carabao Cup semifinals. But the FA Cup fifth round is where they lose out to Brentford in extra time, and that was quite the match. Unfortunately, though, no trophies this season. Conference League quarterfinals is where they drop out to Eintracht Frankfurt. So overall, 10th place is pretty awful compared to what we've seen in all the other tactic talks throughout this entire season. Quarterfinals of the Conference League, we've seen them do better. Fifth round, we've definitely seen them do better in the FA Cup. Semifinals dropped out by Liverpool using the same tactic. Eh. Squad-wise, yeah, not a lot of green there whatsoever. But goal 17 for Ramsey. Diaby only having 13. That is really low for him. 19 assists, though, is fantastic for Luis. And average rating, let's go with a Douglas Luis 720. Data Hub for Liverpool, this is where it counts. You got a lot of shots on there, some attacking numbers really through the roof dribbling though. Defensively not too bad. Goals per game though, they're just not scoring enough. 2.11, uh, 0.97 conceded, 1.01 XG against. With only a plus 31 clear cut chances, one every 60 minutes. And if we look at Aston Villa's data hub, defensively they're kind of going downhill a little bit. Some nice numbers, but otherwise not so much uh, attacking-wise. Not there at all. Goals only 1.61 per game, 1.63 conceded, 1.46 xG against. And only a plus two clear-cut chances, one every 101 minutes. Points per game, Liverpool in fifth with 1.92, Aston Villa in tenth with 1.29. But the rest of the Premier League stats, Liverpool in first with 80 goals. That is the tops. Very interesting. Aston Villa in six with 61. I mean, they're in the list at least. Few shots against Liverpool with 265. Most possession, 62% is tops of the league. Wow. Aston Villa in tied for third at least, 58%. Most dribbles made Liverpool with 774. Aston Villa in, with 614. Best pass completion, sixth place for Liverpool, 88%, as does Aston Villa. And most shots for Liverpool with a 605, Aston Villa with 484. But now, how does Ipswich Town do in the championship? Third place, 90 or 87 points rather, three off of second place. It would have been nice if they gotten one more win out of that, but uh, still a goal differential, only 84 goals. I don't know. It, it's a good mark for them who are, I mean, still technically supposed to be around 10th place, even though they've been doing really well in the championship for the past couple of months, especially in real life. But I, I think you could do a little bit better if you took control of this yourself. I mean, I'll take a look at this one quickly, but Stevenage is where you're out again. The Carabao Cup first round immediately nil one. FA Cup fourth round nil one against Bristol City. And you can see they did get to the playoffs. I forgot to mention that, but out against Sheffield Wednesday in the semis. So overall, I mean, not the worst season we've seen. We've seen them a lot lower. We even see them out of playoff contention, but 
They get into the playoffs, they just falter right out of the gate. Uh, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, where I'm not even going to worry. Yeah, squad wise, only three in the green. Goals 12 for Connor Chaplin is the highest, seven for Hurst. Assists 12 for Fabian Reeder. Uh, and I'm going to assume he's not looking. Oh, Leaf Davis is here. He's alienated because he didn't play a single match. That is insane. And then Fabian Reeder comes in with a 705, 702 for Jack Taylor. But championship stats, Ipswich Town in third with 1.81 points per game. Most goals in fourth with 85. Fewest shots against Witt in fifth with 389. Most possession in first with 60%. Most dribbles made in third with 797. Best pass completion in eighth with 89%. And most shots for in first with 654. So let us dive in and take a look at the tactic itself. We start out with a sweeper keeper in defend. Ball playing defenders all down that three back line. An anchor in defend. A ball winning midfielder in support next to a CM in support. Inside forwards on the left and the right in support with a shadow striker in attack in the middle. And an advanced forward in attack up front. Attacking mentality. In possession attacking with is fairly narrow. Approach plays past to space. Play out of defense. Passing directness is shorter. Tempo is higher. Low crosses run at defense. In transition counter press counter distribute quickly and roll it out. And then out of possession, a high press line of engagement, a much higher defensive line, trigger press much more often, prevent your goalkeeper distribution, get stuck in, step up more, and trap outside. So how did it do for our three teams? I mean, okay, I guess, in certain respects. I mean, Ipswich Town in third is not bad. Uh, they just can't make it through the playoffs, and that's usually the case. But we have seen them in that one and two position a lot of the time. If we look at Aston Villa and Liverpool, clearly not up to what their par is. Uh, and attacking just is not there. They're not getting the goals. They're not getting the men in front. And it's just not working all that well. I think you could definitely do better if you took control of this yourself, did your own things throughout the season, your own match shouts, your own training and transfers, as I always say. I think you could definitely do better than this. Again, this is a season-long holiday. I'm not doing anything. My assistant coaches and managers are doing everything for me. But I don't know if this just didn't work. If I did this five times, I'm sure I could get five different results. Uh, but overall... It didn't seem to work in this case. But that's it for me, Sevin FM, for the Football Manager Blog Channel, saying thank you as always for watching. Take care and enjoy.